This is old Cam. And this is not a spring check, and today we're going to be talking about the law of unintended consequences, especially when it comes to, well, Obamacare. Well, it, it, it's easy, but see, you have to understand that the President of the United States is from a Chicago machine, and there is no unintended consequences as far as he's concerned. But the Democratic Party is learning what Chicago politics is like, which for all of you people, the best information was created by the Republicans. That's, uh, remember, the land of Lincoln is where the Republican Party was created, folks. Ah. People forget that a little bit. They, they talk to the people in Chicago, Chicago politics, and then the Republicans don't even have enough brains to come out of the rain. But, uh, so some of these things that we're going to be talking about, some of you will be, shall we say, in denial and say, oh, no, that's not happening, and well, that's not happening because of such a, well, guess what? It is happening. I see, the Obamacare, okay, what happens is, the country is, is basically flat-ass broke. They can't raise more tax revenue on people because if they start raising the revenue, they just move out of the state and move to another state where basically it's not under the control of the Democrat. Okay, here's the way it works. Is states ran by Democrats, busted. State ran by Republicans, have a budget, a budget surplus. Isn't that amazing how that works? Is that really true or is it yeah. just, oh. That's why Republicans took over most of the, most of the governorships in this country this year with them. What happens is, is the Democrats cannot fund all of their special programs in colleges. So what has happened is they're having to cut out like women's studies, Chicano studies, uh, black history, all of these things are having to be trimmed out. So you have to, you know, you actually have to focus on reading, writing, and arithmetic, which is, God, you know, colleges do something like that, you know. Uh, so what happens is, is that... What was announced today? What was announced today, uh, a, a prominent black college has decided to stop funding the, uh, the athletic programs and take the money that went to the athletic programs and put into an Obamacare health awareness program of which the Health Care Act will help to fund. You know, if you put a dollar in, we'll give you two dollars in return. You know, I know, and that's how they get people to change behavior because it all has to do with money, right? Because these colleges, as a business, still have to run. But part of it, it athletics were brought in because of it, physical education. And, and health, it helped to bring well money in. Yeah, okay, we we'll put it this way. Uh, if you told a great big athletic donor at USC, well, we're not going to have athletics anymore, because we're going to put the money into health awareness programs, but we expect you to give us that $2 million endowment. That's not going to happen. Not going to happen. What's going to result is that the people that are contributing for the athletic programs are going to stop contributing, mm -hmm. and the money that they're getting in uh, that will, will shrink with it, and therefore so will the federal money, which you'll have already screwed up your athletic program. Yeah, because if you stop for one year, Guess what happens? It takes you years to rebuild, and the donators will not be there for years. So the, but the thing is, that it is some, okay, the bad part about it is all these busted colleges in the nation are looking to, the, to this college now for information on how to go about setting up oh. their system so that the money is, the athletic programs are stopped, and the money is put into awareness pro, health awareness programs, which for people, you know, uh, uh, feeling better about yourself is part of health awareness. So. If you put the Chicano studies back in, the La Raza studies back in, Black History back in, the Women's Studies back in. Isn't that what athletics were for to make everybody feel good about their school? Yeah, it, it, it makes this collective. It does because, but remember, the, um, okay, we were talking earlier about. I come from an era where, when I was playing baseball at one of the colleges, we had a game where we knew the pitcher, the pitcher could not pick off anybody, and the catcher was lucky to get the ball back to the pitcher on a bounce. So. Everybody on our team, including a, a catcher who basically, a, a freight train ran faster than our catcher did, we were stealing second and third continually. Mm -hmm. Whereas my youngest comes from a universe where that, um, they, she was a basketball player, she was a pretty big tall kid. They were, they were basically pounding a team to pieces in her high school, totally pounding them, and they called the game and made it, uh, awarded the game to the other team for unsportsmanlike conduct. What? Yeah. Because they, they were taking advantage of the fact they were bigger, taller, faster, That's and were winning the game, so the game was automatically reversed and turned over. They were to teach them That's that ridiculous. next time they'll learn sportsmanship. There is no sportsmanship. I mean, it goes... I, I went to a baseball game years ago and saw Early Wynn, who's a Hall of Famer, pitching against his son. And the first thing he did, he hit his son in the hand with a baseball. Mm -hmm. And I said, but why did you do that? And he said, he had a bat in his hand, didn't he? 
Mm -hmm. Early Wynn was known to hit people. And he said, his son, my son won't crowd the plate next time against another pitcher, will he? So, but, mm -hmm. Or you have um, uh, race car drivers. A.J. Foyt once ran his grandson over a wall mm -hmm. because he was driving in a race. You know, but that, that, that's not going to be allowed. It, it, it will be the bit where you're going to see, we have went to races of which were the most boring things on the face of this planet. Precision driving. Precision driving, they called it, which nobody passed one another because, you know, the, the, the one the one instructor said, I, got, I, I, I realized that they didn't want to hurt anybody's feelings, but God, the people paid money to see a race. That's right. It's entertainment. Yeah. yeah. And it's, that's, what's, that's what we're going to. We're going to the situation where, well, we got, unfortunately, a young football player killed his girlfriend and he killed himself. That's I have crazy. no clue why, in fact, he was a fruitcake because he left a three-month-old kid by himself. Oh, <gasps> he did? Oh. So the way he did, well, she was going to take the kid away from me. So what he do is he kills himself and loses the kid anyway. That's not, but they, the, uh, the people that supported Obama for presidency are wanting the baseball game, they want in the football game. No football game played. Players get all their salaries. The people in the stands get that money back. And that grief counseling be provided by the league for all the players and the people in Kansas City about the death. Like, you know, it's ridiculous. I mean, he's, he's, he, he shot and killed his wife. He killed himself because he was a got this little coward. Cowards only kill himself. You know, um, but uh, the, this is what's happening. Um, you know, Obamacare will force grief counseling by the tons on, on, on events like this. It's just, it's just like the athletic thing. I mean, the woman did, the, the head of the, it used to be a really nice college to go to for athletics. Mm -hmm. But she said, well, we're not stopping college athletics. They'll have intramural play, which doesn't have any money to it. And basically, there's no equipment. It's not playing right, right. intramural ball. What, what would happen with the intramural ball would be like the, uh, the basketball, the, 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 the um, volleyball tournaments out on the beach where they would bring in some person from the pro league to play on their team. Intramurals, what you would do is, if you're playing baseball, you'd bring in some power hitter or some great pitcher from the college team and he'd be on one of the intramurals. Yeah, oh. they cheat. Uh -huh. So, but um, it's not, it's, but they're students, so it works. But you, they're, they're using the healthcare bit to feed money into college programs that were canceled and order, okay, who benefits other than the students that get to take those programs again? It's mm -hmm. called the unions that voted to keep the president in office benefit because- How do they benefit? Because they get their jobs back. You know, but uh, then all the people with athletics lose their jobs. Well, but athletic, it, it's not, athletics are not important. Other than the fact that, um, okay, the president is tall and trim because he played basketball. Mm -hmm. uh, his wife isn't trim. And, uh, and they basically have pediatric care for their daughters to make certain that they don't end up looking like their mother. Aren't their daughters old enough not to have pediatric care? Oh, I know, but she's making certain that they're, uh, they have a pediatrician. To make certain that well, they don't get off All they have to do is not eat like their mother. Well, I know. That's well, remember, <laughs> here's the thing too: is that Obama was a Obama was a basketball player and a fairly decent one. Obama, even though he's not a great golfer, he is a golfer. But he gets under Obama care. Athletics and colleges are going to cease to exist, so Which that the money can that. be transferred elsewhere. So, um, in and all of the people that are involved, okay, here. Who benefits the most from athletics on the college and professional level? Who? The Caucasians. Uh, the, uh, the minority athletes gain the most out of it because most of them, well, I didn't go to college to get education. I, go, I went to college so I could be a pro athlete and make a million dollars a month. Mm -hmm. That's, they benefit. What you're gonna do, you're gonna end up taking the money out of wealth, out of the people that are looking forward to having a lucrative career in their life we're talking. We have a we have a we have a state supreme court chief justice that came a black athlete that came from from that system that will no longer exist under Obamacare. You think that he would have became a justice of the supreme court of his state if he hadn't have been a college athlete? No, it wouldn't have happened. Oh my gosh! Guess what happens to all those pro teams? All those pro teams will have nobody. I mean. No, who's going to want? Uh, uh, I know you're thinking. Oh, we're exaggerating it. No, we're taking the train of thought as to what they're doing and expanding it. It's years down the, it, it, because yeah. this, they, this is the direction. Yeah. Okay. 
you're going to look at older athletes basically staying playing in the game and more and more people taking drugs in order to keep them in the game because under Obama, under the world of Obama, drugs are all going to be legal. And if it's legal, you can't. So, I mean, you can hear, you can see a 55-year-old pumped up Barry Bonds playing ball again, a, a 60-year-old um, Roger Clements playing ball again because the uh, the drugs will enable them to go out in the field and play. Well, and since you won't have be having younger players come in because the they're going to have to play longer. There'll be no there'll be no farm systems other than okay, there are no farm systems in basketball and football. They're oh. in baseball. Is somebody coming to join I us? I know, Monty wants to join in. Oh, Monty and join us. I know, Monty wants to have her be rubbed and scratched. But no, um, it, we're not exaggerating. It just, the schools are broke. The money, if you, you, can, uh, you can call these educational programs a health awareness because it gives you a healthy attitude about yourself. If you have black studies, La Raza studies, uh, black history, Women's studies, women's health, all of these things, social programs, then you know, these are what's important to the health, the health and awareness of this country. You have to get the money somewhere. The states no longer have it because they've ran their, their tickets out on taxes and they keep electing people that want to spend more money. So how do you do it? Well, the the wealthy in our country will pay for it and they're helping their Okay, you would not believe the amount of taxes are in this health care bill, folks. Mm -hmm. it ta there's a t okay, you know that health program that you're supposedly going to be getting free for the president? You have to pay a tax for it. Mm -hmm. You're not getting health care for nothing. That 47%, you're getting taxed for it. Mm -hmm. They say, well, that's not, that's not supposed to happen. Well, yes, it will happen because they can't get enough money to make it work. So somebody, and the people upstairs are already paying 75% of all the, the top 10% are paying 75% of all the federal taxes. Mm -hmm. And there comes a limit to how much more they can pay because they're getting taxed for the health care benefits that you're going to get. And in order to make it work, you're going to have to pay a fee. They're not going to be taxes. You're going to be paying fees now to the federal government. So. Oh, yeah, there's a big difference. You know, she likes this. Monty, this it's is called kind of Monty's health care It's a fee to use, not a general tax. <coughs> so only the people that are using it get taxed. Yeah. And, oh, okay. actually, no. I mean, first of all, right? they cannot make somebody like me pay a health care tax. Because uh, the law basically says that, uh, that if I have been injured by their tax, I can't. I have recourse by going to court. And this, the, the health care law for everybody that has a brain, which isn't most of the Republican commentators, was not approved by the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court said specifically, until an individual has been harmed by the taxes, the taxes shall stand. Mm -hmm. It didn't say the health care shall stand. It said the taxes for health care is can, constitutional. You can continue paying the taxes regardless of whether you utilize Obamacare or not. That's right. And you can only go to court when you have been injured. That's The first tax does not take place until 214. So therefore, no one is injured until 214. But they can still tax you. They can still tax you. Well, no, they, there's no taxes. Oh, there's they, no taxes to talk. There's no taxes being taken in because the taxes don't kick in until after the uh, election of mm -hmm. people in 214. Obama made certain about that. Mm -hmm. But no, um, so it, it is called the law of unintended consequences. The future is going to get worse off for everybody in the country because, in the words of Nancy Pelosi, we have to read the law to know what's in it. We have, no, we have to pass it so we'll know what's in it. I mean, that, which is most of the ridiculous thing. They should have read it before. Well, because they it was it. never written. All it was was a shelf with a, with pair, okay, to be filled in later. To be filled in later, and then they add it. Ooh, you know what? Wouldn't you love it if you could do budgets like that? Yeah, well... It's like, oh, wait, that's exactly what they did. Give us a hundred... No, wait, give us one trillion... No, two trillion, three trillion dollars, and then we'll tell you how we're spending it later. Yeah, and just like, you know, the, the latest budget deal, we're going over a cliff, folks, because... <coughs> we, uh, the, uh, okay, the, the president decided to flex muscle. When the president flexed muscle, he, lo he bought, they told Bonyard they were going to kick his rear end out of office. <laughs> and when and that, if Bonyard is gone, it They're means talking about Boehner. Or Boehner. Yeah, when Boehner is that, gone, um, they put in a person that's going to stand up to the president. And there's your problem. Uh, 
The president doesn't care. He just wants money to spend. He's also made part of the health care, part of the, the new going over the cliff thing, that he must be given the right to spend as much money as he wants whenever he wants it. Mm -hmm. With no congressional approval after this. Mm -hmm. So therefore, if they give him that, there is no reason to have a budget anymore because you grant a president of the United States a blanket power to spend whatever he wants to spend and where he wants to spend it. Ooh, I'd love a blank check like that too, wouldn't you? I know, we, we can, uh, and, and we also have to listen to what one of his supporters said the other day, very specifically on the air that no one challenged, that you would have thought after being elected for the, his fourth term in office oh, they that did the say president that. would have been more conciliatory. See, they, part of it is Right now, in the Constitution, a president may be elected for two terms. Even though he can serve more than two terms. Right. Because if you're vice president of the United States, and you serve two terms already, and a president <coughs> and well, dies, you can become president wasn't again. Wasn't the key word that you can be elected <coughs> for two terms? Or was it... You, can only, be, uh, you terms? can only be elected for two terms as so president of the United States, but you can serve as many terms as non-elected, and the way it works is, as long as the Democratic Party controls the Senate of the United States, Barack Obama will be president forever. Yeah, because you don't hold an election. That's right. They don't have to. Oh, think of all the money we would save if we didn't have an election. Yeah, well, because that's what they, they wanted to delay this last election anyway. That's how you know that the president was going to lose. Because they wanted to delay, they wanted to hold the election at a different date because the people on the East Coast were going to be punished. Mm -hmm. But. Um, it's just, you, it, it, we actually could end this all by something from Mark Twain that it always works well. Exactly. You, you never get the elected government that you want, but you always get exactly the one that you deserve. So until next time, this is Old Campbell. And this is not a spring check.